In this video we'll be looking at several operations on decimal fractions and these operations include addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. So let us start off with addition. Whenever you have to add two decimal fractions, the best way is to write them one below each other. So I have the first um, decimal fraction which is 43.126. Then I would write the second number below it but I have to see to it that the decimal points are aligned. So I would write the decimal point below this decimal point. So there it is. And then on the left hand side I have 2 and on the right hand side of the decimal point I have 3 and 5. So there it is. You can add this as normal natural numbers. So 6 plus this is 0 basically. So 6 plus 0 is 6. 5 plus 2 is 7. 3 plus 1 is 4. Point comes down as it is. Then 3 plus 2 is 5 and 4 plus this is 0 is 4. So this answer is 45.476. So this is how you add decimal fractions. Now let us perform subtraction on these numbers. So I would do it the same way. I would write the first number above. So 43.126. I would write the second number below it but I will make sure that the decimal points remain aligned. So the decimal point is as it is. So there is the decimal point. On the left hand side I have 2, on the right hand side I have 3 and 5 and the blank spaces can be filled in with zeros. And I have to perform subtraction on these two numbers. So I would do it the way I subtract normal natural numbers. So 6 minus 0 is 6. 2 minus 5 so I have carry 1 here so 12 minus 5 is 7 this becomes 4 so again I have to take carry 11 minus 4 is again 7 and this carry comes down this becomes 3 3 minus 3 is 0 4 minus 0 is 4 now this decimal point comes down as it is in its place so the answer is 40.776 if we subtract these two numbers Now let's go ahead and look at how do we multiply decimal numbers. So we have these three decimal numbers and we have to take the product of these. So the process is very simple. We have to write the numbers without the decimal point and multiply them. So I have 3 into 3 into 3. So I, have, I can multiply these and the answer is 3 into 3 is 9, 9 threes are 27. So this is 27. But this is not the final answer. I have to I am still missing the decimal point. So where in this answer would be the position of decimal point? To find out that, let's count the digits after the decimal point in the question. So in, in the first term, we have one digit after the decimal point. Here we have two digits after the decimal point and here we have three digits after the decimal point. When we add this, 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 1 is 6. So in the final answer there would be six digits after the decimal point. So we have de the decimal point and there would be six digits after this decimal point. And the last two are two and seven. And naturally these would be filled in with zeros. So this is how you multiply any given decimal numbers. Let's go ahead and multiply these two numbers 3.516 and 10. So whenever you multiply any decimal fraction by 10, there is no need to actually multiply it. You can just shift the decimal point to its right by these number of zeros. So there is one zero, so only one place right the decimal point will be shifted. So this is 35.16. Had this been, let's say, 3.516 into 100, so there are two zeros so the decimal point will be shifted two places to the right so three so decimal point will be shifted two places so this will be here so 351.6 so this way you perform multiplication of decimal numbers let us move on to division and believe me it's simple whenever you have to perform division I would suggest to remove the decimal point first so let's say I have 0 0.318 here. I can convert this to 318 into 1 by 
I have three digits after the decimal point, so it would come one by one thousand. That is three zeros after one. Now let's divide this. So three one eight divided by three into one by one thousand. So three times one is three. Three times one is three. Three zeros are zero. Three six are eighteen. So we have one zero six by one thousand, and the decimal point is here. So it should shift three places to its left because there are three zeros here. So this becomes zero point one zero six. That's the answer. In this case, I have both the numerator and denominator as decimal fractions. We can remove the decimal points from both the numerators and denominator. So the numerator is five five one one divided by there are three there are four digits after the decimal point. So this would be one followed by four zeros one two three and four. In the denominator, we have to convert zero point one one into an equivalent decimal fraction. So this is eleven upon there are two digits after a decimal point, so this is 100. Now, when you have such situations where you have a division in numerator and again a division in denominator, you can always swap the denominators. So this, this 100 goes up and this 10,000 comes down. So this is 5511 into this 100. So this 100 divided by we have 11 into this 10,000 so this is 10,000 now we can cancel out zeros so these two zeros gets cancelled out and 5511 divided by 11 so 11 times 1 is 11 11 fives are 55 then we have 0 and then 11 ones are 11 so this is 501 by 100 this comes out as Basically, the decimal point is here, so decimal point is shifted to the left because in the denominator we have 100, which has two zeros. So this is 5.01. So that's how you perform division on decimal fractions.